It's a concept, so you may never be able to drive one. And it is probably the dream of every MX-5 owner. Today I'm driving the supercharged Mazda MX-5 prototype, the Yusho. I really love my job. You're watching Eiffel Detours and my name is Sarah Sauer. It's been a while since Mazda has upgraded its much-loved Mazda MX-5 Miata. By the way, Mazda is celebrating the 25th anniversary of this roadster. Well, however, 2014 in New York at the Auto Show, Mazda showed the new chassis of the next generation model, but we still have no clue what it will be powered by or what it will look like. You know what, when I got this car, I was warned that this car acts pretty mean on the road. Why? Because the engine has been tuned up, up to 241 horsepower. Then there's of course rear wheel drive and this beast here stands on semi-slicks. Well, they're nice when you're going through curves, but not when it's raining. And as you can see, weather is quite bad and I hope it's not gonna start to rain because if so, then I will have a problem. Well. Let's check it out. I get into this car and start driving. This car is too small for me, actually. Oh, or I'm too tall for this car. I don't know. Everything in this car is like really, really tight. Starting with the seats, with the Recaro Sport seats, they are so tight, they give you so much side support, it's unbelievable. Then talking about the steering, it is so tight that, you know, when I first started driving, I thought it was broken because it is so, so tight. Shifting is so, so short and precise. I've never experienced that before. And of course, suspension, it's a sporty car, is very tight so everything's tight in here but the only thing I don't like is this is just not my car because it's too small for me I mean it's okay when the roof is open but if the roof is closed I feel like um, sitting in a sitting in jail so what did Mazda do here to make the Yushu faster well, besides supercharging kit by Flying Miata, Mazda added some ECU upgrades, new fuel injectors and metal sport catalysts. They also added special Cosworth pistons and connecting and centrally positioned double tailpipes. Sadly, Mazda isn't going to build this concept car I was driving today, so you won't be able to buy one. But if you're interested in how much all the tuning work in here costs, I can tell you, about $20,000. Well, I guess Mazda is just busy with building the new, the next generation of the Mazda MX-5 instead of building this fun roadster. And let's just hope that Mazda does not put any sky active fuel saving features into the new Mazda MX-5 because I think Mazda MX-5 drivers will freak if they find the words fuel efficiency and Mazda MX-5 in one sentence. Well, I had fun driving this little beast and I'll see you next time on FLD Tours. My name is Sarah Sauer. Bye bye. That it is, that, it's, that it acts pretty bad. bad, bad. <laughs> oh wow! By the way, it's very easy to drift with the Yushu, but of course we don't do it because it's not allowed on the public streets. <laughs>